Hi there, welcome to Kerry Shaves and welcome to the weekend. If you're watching this at a weekend, uh, if you're watching it midweek or sometime that's not the weekend, welcome anyway. <laughs> it's nice to be here, nice to see you. Um, yeah, it's a little bit dull, overcast here. Um, it's not very bright. A little bit like myself, not very bright, a little bit dull. A little bit overcast. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, what we're going to be using today. First of all, how are you good people? How's everything going for you? Um, going well? I hope life's treating you well uh, and you're enjoying life. Right, carrying on the month of August, UK soaps, or UK based soaps, artisans, soap makers, stuff like that. Um, here's the one I'm using today. This is uh, Lothar Grooming, probably the newest UK artisan that I know. Uh, and this one's called Dave. Uh, here it is here. Yeah, very nice, sleek, clean, matte black finished tubs. Yeah, really, really nice looking. Uh, let me show you the ingredients of the soap. Okay, so Lothar Grooming, um, the main man there is Johnny, and uh, he brought out these soaps after um, getting really bad irritation from soaps. He's uh, got, got quite sensitive skin, so he made his own soap uh, for shavers with sensitive skin. The notes on this are, are it's basically tea. It smells like Darjeeling tea. And the story behind this is, uh, it's called Dave. Uh, that was Johnny's father who passed away. So um, he, he loved drinking tea and his name was Dave. So hence the soap's called Dave and it smells of tea. It's Johnny's little uh, tribute to his father called Dave. So that's the soap I'm going to be using. Yeah, it has, um, it says, it uh, opens with a citrus, fruity notes, Darjeeling tea, jasmine accord, Assam and powdery iris root in the base. There's the soap there. Very, very good soap. This is version one. Um, some people said that it was very lightly scented, but I think that was the reason behind it because Johnny didn't want to overload it with um, uh, perfumes and stuff like that because of the sensitive skin issue but I, I know there's a version 2 base and it's slightly stronger in scent so I think the one that's available on the website now if you look there and um, you look at the ingredients and I think it says ingredients for version 2 so I don't know if they're different from V1 there might be a, a little bit more uh, fragrance in it but this is the V1 I like it I get the tea I definitely get the scent from it some people say they, they can't smell anything but it definitely, it definitely smells like tea, to me, to my nose anyway. But that's the soap. Right, the brush. Um, I've not used this for a while, and it's uh, this, Samog 1305, a bore brush, soaking in the P-R-O-R-A-S-O Super Soaker. P-R-O-R-A-S-O. No, I'm not going to sing it. Okay, I'll sing it for you. P-R-O-R-A-S-O Super Soaker. <laughs> yeah, so it's soaking in there. I've uh, I've done a few videos with this, breaking it in sort of thing, so I just wanted to use it today. Yeah, why not? So that's that soaking there. Right, the razor I'm going to be using is uh, another one from the UK, actually. A UK, not really artisan as such. It's a, it's a store in Scotland. It comes in this ah, lovely leather case. And it's the uh, executive shaving outlaw razor here it is here yeah this has been out for a, a few months now stainless steel very nice really grippy handle uh, it's a three-piece razor comes apart like that like this there's the head all oh, very nice and this is the mild plate uh, if you can see that there it says M on it you see the M there and it has the executive shaving logo at that side. Yeah, if you're buying this in the UK, you get it from uh, its executive shaving. Elsewhere in the world, I think it's Alpha Shaving. It's exactly the same razor. It's just branded for a different market. I, I think like for one for Europe and one for uh, the States, just to make shipping and stuff a bit more easy on the, the wallet or the purse or the pocket or wherever you keep your money under your hat. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the blade I'm going to be putting in that uh, again, in Scotland, 
It's a vintage stainless Permasharp Supreme. Now these blades uh, are vintage. They came out probably late 60s, early 70s. I have, uh, I have a few hundred of these. So I'm going to use them. This one is on its third use. Uh, I'll just show you it. Here's the wrapper it comes in. Yeah. Stainless, it says, made in Great Britain. It has two dots on it there, so this is the third use. Let me just show you the blade. For those of you who haven't seen it before, there, yeah, look, look at that through, look at the eyes through that. <laughs> yeah, so there it is there. And it has on this side, new perma sharp. But these are good blades. Yeah, very smooth. So I'll put that on the razor like that. Top cap on, little washer. Why do you use that little washer, Kevy? Well, it just protects the head of the razor when you screw it on. Ah, right. Why? Because I want to. <laughs> so there is there, no overhang on these razors. Um, yeah, if you are thinking of purchasing one, use the code KEVY5. I'll put it on the screen now at the checkout and you'll get 5% off your bill. Not just on this razor, on anything at the Executive Shaving. Uh, so every little bit helps, I suppose. Right, let's uh, get this brush, go with the soap. I'll just give it a little shake. Put some water on the soap, like that. And then we'll just go in, like this. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm just gathering the soap on the tips of the brush. This, uh, these Lothar Grooming soaps have had very favourable reviews uh, on YouTube. Yeah, that, that scent is coming out now. I don't, I don't understand the people that said um, they can't smell anything. This is the version one. Um, as I say, the version two is has more fragrance in it because people that's what people wanted. So Johnny listened and he responded to them by creating more, um, a little bit more scent. But I definitely get the tea. I definitely get the tea from it. It's really nice, actually. It's a nice, well, it's a calming scent, I would call it. Here in the UK, um, some, some people worldwide might, might not know this, but um, the world problems, stuff like that, if you've ever got things going on, if ever you're down, you know what solves it? A nice cup of tea. <laughs> That's what we say there. Oh, let's have a nice cup of tea and everything will, oh, the world will be perfect. And this is what that smells like, right? Look at that. I've got a massive, massive load in that brush. I'll probably be adding water to this for days and days and days. <laughs> right, let's uh, wet the face. And we'll just uh, go with this. Yeah, I just wanted to use a bore brush because um, I've not seen many YouTube videos with uh, uh, guys using a bore brush with this soap. So. But uh, this Samog 1305 is uh, breaking in nicely. Yeah, if I remember rightly, this um, soap can take lots and lots and lots of water. Uh, you know, that, that, the reason I, I wanted to use a bore brush as well, uh, I've said this before, but for anyone new watching, thank you for coming along here. Um, bore brushes don't give you this massive volume of lather that uh, like a, a, a synthetic brush does. It's just, they just give you a nice uh, coat, coating on your face. Right, I'm gonna, I've dipped the whole knot there.
Right, I'll dip the whole lot again. I love soaps like that. <laughs> like you can just add water to it. I know on videos people are like, me saying, oh, get on with it, Kevy. But um, this is the fun part for me, creating the ladder. Well, the most fun part, I guess. Yeah, really good soap for uh, the shavers in the UK. And elsewhere, of course. But look at that, can you see the shine on that? Yeah, look. See, that's what I'm saying, like a boar brush doesn't like create a massive like Santa Claus beard, but just nice. Right, I'm happy with that. Yeah, look, it's dripping down the brush. There's still all that in the tub that could scoop out. Right, let's get some heat in this. Outlaw razor. Yeah, this is the mild plate, uh, which is 0 0.52 uh, of a millimeter. Uh, the standard plate is 0 0.72. Um, so you might not think that's much, but um, it really is. Uh, you can feel the difference. Wow, that is superb. Listen to that. Yeah, very slick soap. The grip on this handle is uh, really good. That is superb. Very smooth. And uh, executive shaving say this could be a, a two pass razor. You know, so if you're looking for a razor that you can get done in two passes. This might be it. The feedback on that is incredible. Yeah, the sound is like it's like scraping toast on, <laughs> scraping toast on the first pass. Wow, that is slick, slick, slick. Right, let me rinse. I'll come back for the second pass. Okay, nicely rinsed off. Yeah, nice uh, residual slickness there from that soap. Right, back to this uh, little gold rush. Plenty of soap there. Yeah, look, really nice. Right, cross the growth now with the uh, outlaw. Got even the feedback there, listen.
What's in here from the brush there? Yeah, what look. Just a short one. Yeah, and it, um, executive shaving are close to releasing uh, a new razor, a single edge razor called the Claymore. Um, I know they've been working on it for quite a lot of months actually. But that should be coming out soon, so um, we'll see what that's like. Feels really nice actually, that blade's um, very smooth. A vintage blade. Right, that's two passes done, so they claim that um that is good enough for <laughs> that is good enough for a shave using this razor. <laughs> I have to tell you, I feel, listen, there's absolutely, if I go that way, there's a little bit against the grain, but there's not that much left. But anyway, we will go for a third pass uh, with this and I'll come back after I've rinsed this off. Will it? No, I've rinsed it off, so I don't have to come back. I'll just give it a quick. Some cold water. Yeah, I don't have to come back. It's rinsed. Why do you pause the video then, Kevy? Sometimes I go and get a, a cup of tea. So the world's okay. So the world's okay. Right, I'm going to take what's in this uh, what's in this tub and just apply it to my face. No sense in uh, wasting the soap. It's there. Oh, yeah, definitely getting tea. Not like a, a cup of like builder's tea, which is just like <laughs> normal breakfast tea. It's a, uh, what did I say? It was dar, um, Darjeeling, which is a, a very, yeah, almost like a fruity sort of tea, but just really nice. It smells like a posh tea. Oh, would you would one like it? Maybe you should uh, lather up like this with the with the old pinky up, you know. Yes, I'm just creating the lather with this wonderful, wonderful tea scented soap. It's uh, Darjeeling, don't you know? Yes, with the pinky up. <laughs> Some of you guys in the <laughs> throughout the world be going, what on earth is he talking about? Well, if uh, really posh people drink tea, they, they do it like that. They put their pinky up and go, mm, it's a lovely cup of tea, yes. Uh, so that's why I don't drink the brush like that. <laughs> but um, there you go. Welcome to my strange channel. <laughs> it's nice to have you here. Yeah, this is it's all about fun here. Just uh, not taking life too seriously. Right, good weight on this razor. Uh, the executive shaving with the mild plate outlook. Outlaw. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to a, a podcast actually with uh, Johnny from uh, Lothar Grooming. Uh, it was the Retro Wet Shaming Podcast, which uh, I've, I've appeared on, I've taken part in it, I've been interviewed for it. Um, I'll put a link for it in the description actually, it's quite good. 
Um, Dave, the guy that does it, uh, he's had a few guests on. Um, like some big hitters, Douglas Smythe and Peter Chocala, stuff like that. Yeah, that's that spot thing I was saying, that little pimple. But um, yeah, interesting. Yeah, so, uh, podcasts are good. A little bit different from watching a video. You know, just uh, just the audio, just the, the spoken word sort of thing. Just put headphones on, and uh, it's good. You can use your imagination as to what what the people are talking about, and when they're describing stuff. And yeah, right. Let's have a feel about. Okay, quick rinse. Let's see if there's any pickups. Needing done. There's a tiny bit there. I felt a little bit down here as well, so. Up here, feels good. Feels, oh, a little bit there. Moustache feels good. Right, let's go with that. Yeah, this is the, uh, as I say, this is the mild plate, so. Um, would it be good as a daily shaver? Yes, definitely. Although I'm not a daily shaver, but it's mild enough for that. I feel. Whereas if you're looking for something with a bit more aggression, go for the uh, standard plate. Which is uh, 0 0.72 of a millimetre. Yeah. It must be uh, difficult for guys coming into this way shaving. I remember that myself when I was uh, first starting over. There's so many little phrases and acronyms and all this sort of um, stuff that you're like, what does that mean? But don't be afraid to ask. Ask either here on a forum, on Facebook, there's lots of different groups. Uh, yeah, people are very helpful. Right, let's have a quick rinse. Wow, what a fantastic shave. Right, what's left in this tub? I'm gonna just take it out. Put it on here, I'll scoop what's left in the brush. It might not be much, but there's enough. Uh, the stuff in this soap is really good. The properties and ingredients and stuff, so don't waste it. Use it on your skin. It's good for your skin. Right, face wash time. You know the drill. For those of you that don't, I rub this into my face, then I rinse it off with hot water and cold water. And then I clean up my gear, and then I come back for the bow shave. I'll see you soon. Cut a tea, a little cut a tea, on me face. Wow, the um, bow shave feel from that soap is absolutely incredible. You have a face wash with it, leave it on for a bit, and then just rinse it off. Yeah, feels really, really good. Right, on to the post shave. Uh, after shave to start, Nivea Men Deep Comfort. Uh, this smells like a, a high-end cologne. <laughs> it's very nice. It doesn't last, but um, the initial stink is lovely. 
a tiny bit of burn, not much. Oh, yeah, it smells great. It really does. It smells like a like a high end cologne. It's a, it's got a nice. Um, it's hard to describe. Just really good, really really nice. And finishing off with uh, Global Shave Shave Bomb. Uh, there's the ingredients on that. Yeah, this is good stuff as well. Smells really good as well. Comes with a little pump here. Just that much. About three pumps there. You don't need much. Whoa, smells good as well. Is that a nice combination? I don't know. Just it. <laughs> it's just aftershave and bam. It'll smell like it smells. Both good smelling stuff, so. Probably should have only used one or the other, but. Yeah, this, that is a nice scent. Like a, like a floral scent. Tiny little bit of floral, and then it goes into a, like a. Like a clean, fresh. Um, citrusy, a little bit powdery. Really nice. And there we go. Just wipe my hands. And that's a shave. Yeah, really happy with that. Really, really good. Feels really nice. Right, let me show you what we've used. The brush, the Samog from Portugal, 1305. Look at him. <laughs> he looks like he looks like a punk rocker. What are you looking at? Yeah, nice. Uh, it has a wooden handle, good brush, it's still breaking in. It's not broken in properly yet, but uh, it's good. I like it. Samog 1305. The razor was the Executive Shaving Outlaw with the mild plate uh, and inside that a third use vintage Scottish Permasharp. A Scottish blade and a Scottish razor. If it's not Scottish, it's crap! That's how angry I am. <laughs> I've not said that for a while, have I? <laughs> yeah, great razor. Um, yeah, executive shaving outlaw uh, with the mild plate. You can see the M there. 0 0.52, great grip on the handle. Uh, blade alignment spot on, no overhang. Just a great razor. Very good, very, very good. The soap, there we go. Lothar grooming. Uh, and it was Dave, Lothar Grooming Dave. Like a, a Darjeeling tea scent for me. I, I definitely get the tea, it's, uh, it's very nice, it's very calming, I like it. I like it a lot. Great performing soap. Um, one of the new UK artisans. Very, very good, very, very good. Check out the website, all the links will be there. I'll put links to everything. Oh, we soaked the brush. Of course we soaked the brush in the P-R-O-R-A-S-O -R -R Super Soaker. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, we did three passes face wash. Face wash. Three passes and a face wash. Three passes and face wash. And then we came back for the poo shave. This is starting to sound like David... <laughs> no, it's not. David Attenborough, I was going to say, but it sounds nothing like David Attenborough. Uh, poo shave was... Nivea Men, Deep Comfort, or Deep, I don't know, I think it's Deep, Deep Comfort, great smelling, aftershave, and finished it with Global Shave Club Shave Balm Post Shave Lotion. And there we have it, ladies and gents. Wow, yeah. Skin feels really good, like, it's got that tacky feel to it, but you know in about half an hour's time it's going to feel like silk. Yeah, I just know it will. Um, I don't know, that's just the... The, the phase it goes through to get to that silky stage. For me, anyway. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, my artist. Um, right, okay, that's all for me for today. Uh, thank you very much for joining me for this shave. Um, I'm really enjoying using these uh, UK soaps. 
it's good, it's good to mix it up. There's still some I've got to use. I probably won't get through them all until the end of August, but um, hopefully I'll get the ones I want to use, that I will use, and the, I don't know. Um, but there's other YouTubers doing them so from the UK, so it's all good. Um, they're using them as well, so it's good to get them some uh, exposure. Yeah, very good. Right, enjoy the rest of your weekend, uh, or if you're watching this midweek, I hope you've had a good day at work. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Right, uh, take care of yourselves, look after our loved ones, and uh, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. I love you all. See ya.